Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft OneNote. In this module, we're going to look at some of the basic features that you get with OneNote. First of all, how to create a file. Secondly, how it interacts with Microsoft Outlook and Word. But first of all, how to create a file. First thing you do is click on File and then New. You find a place that you want to put this, you give it a name and you click Create Notebook, which I've already done and it's created this notebook which sits down this left hand pane. You can see I already have other workbooks there which I can collapse out of the way and show you information by just doing that. So in this one, you have a default section which I'm going to name as It's Easy. And then within each section, you have multiple pages. So I've named this page Training and you can see the, the title there. If I click Add Page, you'll get a new page and I can call this um, assets and then that becomes the name of that page and you can click between the two like that. Adding extra sections is a simple process of clicking on the plus and I'll call this one testing and there's a second section and the same process works in this one. So you basically, as soon as you type a title, that becomes the name of the page. Now on the page, you can type as you would normally do in a Word document. You have some basic text functions there. So I'll just type a little bullet list. Um, item 1, item 2, item 3, for example. I don't want that last one. Now, going along the ribbon, you have some heading styles. So if I click into a, another box, I can click on a heading style and then I'll type my name and it gives you a heading style and then underneath that um, underneath that I want a numbered list so I'll go one two three and then call that test test one and so on now just past the headings you have these other features which I'm going to click back onto item one and click this to do one gives me a little checkbox which I can tick on the next one down, I've got an important star, which I can tick, and then a question mark, which I can also tick. And then you have all these other options that you can select from this drop-down list, which are visual options. Now, you've also got this to-do tag. So, again, I'm clicking into a different area of the screen, so it gives me a little box, and I'll call that Sales Team meeting for example and then click on there and I get my little tick box to do list and then this little tool helps me find all these icons that I've placed in this page and you can just navigate to them by clicking on these items in the list and it just highlights that element let's get rid of that I'll get myself in a different space um, admin meeting for example now maybe I want to put that into Outlook so what I can do there is say I want to do that tomorrow it flags it up but what it then does if I go into Outlook onto my tasks you see there admin meeting tomorrow so that is actually linked into Microsoft Outlook email page does what it says on the tin sends this page as an email Meeting details, if you drop this down, you've got um, whatever you've got in your calendar, this can then be brought into OneNote. I can choose a different day using this if I wish, or I can just insert the details of that particular meeting. That's gone over there. I can move that around and expand this box, and there's the details of that meeting. So I'll just get rid of that. In fact, I won't get rid of that. I'll just undo that. So if I do that again, let's see if I can show you that again. I just clicked on that again. It just brings it in there and then you can move that around. Now on the other tabs on the ribbon, if I go to insert, so I've just switched over to a different section I'll call this um, admin 
you've got insert where you can insert tables which is similar to what you would do in Word and you've got all the format options for a table if I just undo that control Z file attachment you can attach a file into this document uh, I don't know what that is but I'll just attach it or you can do that I'll insert this as a, a printout and then you can see what happens there. So there's not a lot in that document, but basically that's brought that document in as a printout and also as an attachment. Okay, it just opens that. So there's nothing in that document really. Go back into OneNote, let's get rid of that. Spreadsheet, same process, existing spreadsheet or a new spreadsheet. So I click on new, it'll embed uh, an Excel spreadsheet and then you can click on edit and you can type away. Now I've already got Excel open elsewhere but I'll just undo that one. Visio diagram, you can bring in Microsoft Visio new drawing or existing drawing. I'm not going to do that, but the same process as spreadsheet. Then you've got some other tools coming along. I'm not going to click on every single one of these, but screen clipping is quite a useful one. And it's one that I use quite a lot in Microsoft Office. So I'll just grab that bit there and brings this text in from a Word document. And then you've got online pictures, pictures. So bring pictures in from um, a school photograph of myself. Terrible. I'll just undo that one. And then you can link to different areas, different web pages and files. And then these two options are, are quite useful. Record audio, record video. So if I click on record audio, it should just start recording. And then this becomes a sound file that you can have in your OneNote. So there you go. Play. And it should just play. Um, I'll just stop that and undo both of those, delete that, get it out of the way, just keep it nice and tidy and keep going along. We've got date and time options, date and time and then we have a series of templates. So these are just different templates so if I click on project overview you'll see that the, um, the templates sit there and then if I go to page templates it actually shows you all the ones that are available academic simple lecture notes these are templates that people have done you've also got the option there to create your own template so there's one I did earlier just a basic template and the way you would do that is this option at the bottom there you you save current page as a template and then whatever you've got on your page becomes a template in my templates so that's quite a useful feature if you're using this quite a lot to take notes and things so just come out of there just get rid of that and that and that one and that one so just keep getting rid of things to keep it nice and clean now on the draw tab i've got a touch screen laptop so these are just draw features then you've got history which gives you your history recent edits and stuff like that today and it just basically shows you what you've done today even though i've deleted them and then Review will give you your spell check thesaurus and then this feature which is what I want to talk about well before that password you can password protect any of these sections let's close that search result off so you can set passwords so each section can be password protected so only you or your colleagues that have the password can get into that and then this link notes if I get myself into a blank section Link notes allows you to make notes on um, a Word document and then put the results into OneNote. So if I just click OK to that and then open my Word document, I can click into an element and then make a note. I'll just type some text so you can see it. And then click further down, type something else, click 
bit further down. Type something else. So I'm just as if I'm making a note. Or this part of the document, like so. And then when you finish, you can close that down, and you can come out of Word, and then you've made notes. You clicked on Link Notes, and all the notes that you've made should be available for you. Okay, so here are the notes. So if I click on these, it will take me to that document. If I go back and click on a different one. So basically, it's just opening up the document and, and downloading it again. Enable editing. So if I look at that in OneNote itself, it gives you a little preview of what you're saying on that note. So you don't need to open these documents to see what your note was about. You can just hover over it and it tells you. And then there you go. That's how you take notes. So that's just added it into the testing page, which is where I said it to go. So basically that's the end of this little session. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for your time.